Welcome back to Designing Your Life. Or on this episode, maybe I should say Cirque du Soleil Home Edition. <laughs> Emily didn't believe that I actually would climb a ladder this tall to install the rest or the last of my new tiles that I have made after the storm damage. So I did this just to prove her wrong. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> And see, these tiles go in quite easily. I'll show you how to make them in just a little bit. What are those, just copper? It's copper on a four by four pressure treated post. And now I'm gonna go back up to the Cirque de Loseo position <laughs> to make sure that I got them even because I do want these to blow out. They are not attached. They are simply tightly stacked. Okay, I'm ready to come down. Believe me, I'm ready. Come on down. Okay, I'm gonna give you a very quick little tutorial on making a copper tile. Uh, we've shown you some of the copper tiles I made before. This is one that uh, is going to go into the great wall, the great privacy wall. But I've got a four by four pressure treated block. I've got my cedar, I mean my copper from the Nimrod Copper Company. And this is 0 0.008 thickness. I've got a pair of fairly good little garden snips uh, and they are perfectly fine with cutting the copper. Eh, it probably doesn't do the scissors any good, but it works perfectly to cut the copper. I'm gonna take the copper now that I have a block cut and I'm gonna bend it up slightly just to get a crease uh, in the copper so that I know where the corners hit exactly. And there we go. It's just like wrapping a Christmas package, but I am gonna cut the corners out so that I have a nice, neat um, finish to my, uh, to my copper tile. Now, you'll notice that this is very shiny. It's very new copper. There are lots of ways that you can age it. Um, my first attempt uh, was Googling how do you age copper, and it talked about horse urine. And I very quickly realized um, you couldn't buy horse urine and I was not going to stand with a bucket in the middle of the field. So I tried uh, some human urine in a spray bottle and it worked really quite nicely. But I did graduate from urine to a, a compound called liver of sulfur that I get in a craft store and that will age the copper. The tiles that I am making for the wall, though, I am not going to artificially age them. I'm just gonna let them age all on their own. And then I've got a staple gun here, and that's just to hold the sides in place. One is sufficient. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna take the hammer and I'm just gonna tap the corners really nice and tight and plumb. And at the same time, I'm gonna tap in my staples. So <laughs> this is what you have. And they stack quite nicely. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take it one step further. This is ending up being a Cirque du Soleil copper episode. Uh, but we've talked about the tiles before. I made these tiles to actually be bases, and I wanted you to see how they're actually set up. I have three of the tiles already off the wall, and I've got one little piece of duct tape. I'm going to get a fourth one and it fits quite nicely. And then 
a little piece of duct tape that I should have probably already had ripped and cut, but <laughs> I didn't. But a little piece of duct tape to hold it and you have a wonderful copper square and down inside of it, I'm going to just drop a, a vase and then I have some hydrangeas from the garden. Don't have a lot of stuff blooming right now, but uh, they just tend to, um, to love copper. These are the limelight variety and they have just a little bit of sort of a pink cast to the ends of them and I think they tie into the copper quite nicely. Uh, one thing about uh, flower arranging, uh, if you have a lot of flowers and they're beautiful and lush, think less about the vase. Uh, only one can be the star, flowers or the vase. That doesn't mean that you should always use something, you know, clunky, but I mean, just don't try to overwhelm beautiful flowers with some kind of art vase. The simpler, the better. And that is my very quick, from the garden, flower arrangement in my copper stand. I could actually use a few more, but that's it. Thank you for coming again and indulging me as I try to inspire you to design your life for you. Thanks for watching Design Your Life with Terry White. We would love to hear your comments on this project or if you have suggestions for future episodes. We hope to see you again soon. Cheers. I'm glad you're being careful. Do what? I'm glad you're being careful. <laughs> I'm going, taking your time. I have a lot of respect for ladders. Yeah, I, I rode, have... when I was building this wall, uh -huh. I rode one down oh. to the ground oh. <laughs> about where you are. Oh gosh. And ever since then, I have a lot of respect for ladders. Mm, I bet. I don't have to fall off one to have respect. <laughs>